day. What's that smell? It smells like. It smells like in here. <laughs> Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all had a very great weekend also. My day is going absolutely magnificent. And big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Kansas by way of Wichita. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Kansas, everybody in the great city of Wichita. Now, this story right here comes as no surprise. And before I start this video, I want to let you all know one thing that I understand that accidents happen, but everything is not a damn accident. As you all make it tell by the picture right here, yes. And they say a picture say a thousand words. So when you see this person smiling on this picture, what do you think? She's happy. She's what? She's proud of what? She's proud of her work. Yes. That big mess that she laid back there. And not only did this big heifer go inside this beauty supply store, as you all can tell from the surrounding areas, it was more than one store right there. So my thing is this, when I was thinking about this, I was like, well, what if it was really a bad accident and she couldn't hold it? But at the same time, I started thinking to myself, well, damn, if she can't hold her mud and she got to use the dead bag, why don't she have a damn diaper on? And for you people who going to make excuses up for this big heifer, why don't you have a diaper on talking about, well, maybe she can't hold it. Well, maybe you can't hold your mud neither. But the thing about it is this right here is that they was looking for this woman. Yes, they were looking for her. They were saying suspect wanted for defecation in the store. And they also say that she damaged a significant amount of wigs. Yes, eight wigs to be exact. And say those damn Koreans in that store are mad as hell. So the police were looking for this woman. And also the store owners were looking for this woman because they want her to pay for the damages. And they also want to pursue criminal charges against her, which I do not blame them because unless... Unless you just have some kind of bad uh accident, because I understand that uh things happen sometimes, if you know what I mean. But if you went in there with the intention of doing this, and they also say that this was done intentionally. And my thing is this, I'm like, well, how in the hell could they say that this was done intentionally? Well, as you all can tell from the uh, still photo, it looked like it was. And also they have the video. Now, I'm not going to play the video, but the video is out there if you want to see that. But for those who are wondering, well, you said a significant amount of feces. How much? Well, I'm going to tell you this right here. Go on YouTube, type in National Geographic, and look at a rhinoceros or a hippopotamus or an elephant take a dump. And that's your uh, example right there. Anyway, I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go. Woman defecated in beauty supply store, ruining eight wigs, says the police. Not the Trey King Show, because one thing about the Trey King Show, we don't lie on nobody over here. We don't speculate. We speak number what? Fat, fat facts all day, every day, like my people in St. Louis say. Anyway, now police in Kansas have identified a woman who allegedly, ain't no damn allegedly, who defecated on their beauty supply store products in Wichita, causing the destruction of eight wigs that were for sale. So my thing is this, did she take a crap right on the damn wigs, or did she use the wigs to wipe her butt with? Because I guarantee you, yes, 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 she used those damn wigs to wipe her big ass with. And also while I was hearing about this, I said, well, damn, well, maybe her and the store owners or somebody that work in the store got into an argument or something, and she went in there and decided to show them what she was really about, which is a bunch of shit, if you know what I mean. Anyway, now the Wichita Police Department said that the woman entered a beauty supply store and defecated in the middle of the aisle. Now, I don't think it would have been that bad if you would have did it in the back of the aisle, but not in the middle of the aisle. It goes to show you that she wasn't trying to hide what? Yeah, shit. She wasn't trying to hide a damn thing. She wants y'all to see that. Now, who in the hell made her mad? And also, people were trying to identify this woman. They had all kinds of posters up. Please help us in identifying this woman. And I'm looking all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm like, who in the hell is this big helper? And come to find out, I only found two initials. And those two initials were BS. No. It don't stand for Brenda Smith. No. It don't stand for Bernadine Samuel. And no, it don't stand for Becky Sue. The BS stands for Big Shitty. That's what it means. BS, Big Shitty. That's exactly what it means. Anyway, let's continue. Police say that the defecation was significant enough that eight wigs were destroyed as a result. And also, you may be wondering, well, damn, Trey, what do they mean by the defecation was significant enough? That means it was a whole 
whole lot of shit. It was a whole lot to clean up. Notice she had to use eight damn wigs. Damn, girl, what the hell did you eat that damn day? Stay y'all ass out of Taco Bell. Taco Bell is what's really doing it to you all. I ain't gonna lie, I used to leave the club sometimes uh, and go straight to Taco Bell and have to run home. Y'all just don't know how many times I had to pull over and run in the damn woods and use the restroom. But this story ain't about me. Anyway, let's continue. Now, they also added that the owner wants to identify the perpetrator or what they call the perpetrator in order to pursue criminal charges. But guess what, though? The woman has already been identified. And as from what I hear, they are going to uh, charge a big ass with a few things they need to. Number one, charge her with aggravated stupidity in A.N. And some of y'all looking around like, what the hell is A.N.? Trey, what's up with all these damn slangs? A.N. stands for aggravated nastiness. And some of y'all ass need to be arrested for that also. But anyway, let's continue. Now, the incident was caught on a store surveillance camera according to the police. And they got all this shit, no pun intended, on surveillance cameras. So can't nobody sit up here and say a damn lie. And y'all gonna sit up here, some of y'all gonna say, well, Trey, well, maybe she couldn't hold her mud. Look, it was a song that came out in the 80s a long time ago. I think it was the early 80s or late 70s. But if I'm not mistaken, it was the early 80s by the late, great Kenny Rogers. He made a song called The Gambler. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, and know when to walk away. You know, some people don't know how to hold their mud. You know what I'm saying? And some people just don't know how to walk away. I mean, damn, if you can't use their bathroom, don't go back in the store and patronize their business. But why can't you go to all these other businesses and use their damn restroom? I'm sure somebody would have let you use their restroom, especially you being a woman, allegedly, because I don't think women act like that. Anyway, now the defecation was significant enough that it destroyed eight wigs. She used those eight wigs to wipe her ass with. And hell, I don't blame her because you got to have uh, a clean ass. But damn, eight weeks? So you mean to tell me that little cheap-ass pocketbook that you got, you ain't got no damn toilet paper in there? I thought most women walked around with little wipes or something on them, you know, for little woman hygiene needs or whatever you want to call it. So you mean to tell me that you went in there and dropped down and got your eagle on, let out a couple turds, and you ain't got nothing to even wipe your ass with? That's just a crying damn shame right there. Anyway, let's finish before I get in trouble. Now, also in closing, they say the incident was captured on video surveillance camera. And for the good of all of you, the police said they are not posting this fecal assault. But she also will be charged with fecal assault. Now, my thing is this. Is it really worth it? Did you really thought that it was cute to go in these people's store and shit all over their damn floor and then walk your butt up to the counter and act like you was going to buy some? Maybe you bought some, maybe you did. But my thing is this. Just like you took your butt up to that counter, acting like you on the phone talking to somebody, your big butt... Could have asked the people, could you use their restroom? If you couldn't use their restroom, go next door to the psychic place. So they probably had the door already open for you because they're psychic. They should know this shit is coming. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or may misinform, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed and have a great day. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King show. And guess what? I'm out.